Those in the world of talent development and gifted education were stunned to learn of the closing of Duke TIP, Talent Identification Program, in the fall of 2020. But the Center for Gifted Studies is already launching a new program to help fill the void. SCATS, VAMPY, Super Saturdays, programming you've been hearing about for the past 40 years from the Center for Gifted Studies. But the origins go back to the 1980s, around the time the Duke Talent Identification Program was created. Going as far as when President Zacharias went with me to Duke for three weeks to say, could we do this same program? And we came back with the result. Of course we could. The result? A summer camp for verbally and mathematically precocious youth. While the center continues to thrive, Duke TIP has ended creating a talent identification void around the country. It's no surprise longtime center director Julia Roberts is among the first to get a similar program up and running. What's new is the above level testing that we can offer and we have it in place for fourth, fifth and sixth grade. For parents like Kimberly Green, whose three children have been enriched by the center's programs for years, it's welcome news. I'm really excited to see that being transferred here to the state of Kentucky because access is such a huge issue for a lot of our kids who need some additional supports in terms of being challenged. Above level testing is giving a younger student a test developed for older students, expanding opportunities and impacting lives for generations to come. We're excited to be launching TIP Kentucky and we look forward to lots of people engaging with us in this talent development search. For years, WKU hosted Duke TIP recognition ceremonies for seventh graders who had scored well on college entrance exams. Dr. Roberts says they plan to work their way back to that as the program grows. For information on testing, go to wku.edu forward slash gifted forward slash T-I-P-K-Y. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.